I had a very strange thought the other day. I was genuinely sitting on my sofa and I thought to myself, I wonder what the highest G-force ever survived is. So I looked into it and I found that the highest G ever survived was in the 2003 IndyCar race at the Texas Motor Speedway, the driver in question being Kenny Brack, a Swedish man born on the 21st of March 1996, making him 37 when he got flung through the air at 214 G. In the final race at the Texas Motor Speedway in 2003, he suffered a very serious crash that almost cost him his life. His car locked wheels with Thomas Schechter's, flew into the catch fence and broke apart. Brack's crash saw the highest recorded G-forces since the introduction of crash violence recording systems, peaking at 214 G. Just a quick reminder that the fatal zone occurs over 50 G. This man quadrupled that figure and came out alive. I will show the crash now. Uh, viewer discretion is probably advised. To make this all happen, he's got to be thinking inside his cockpit right now. Whoa, his big crash! Major, major incident. Kenny Brack getting way high. Brack emerged from this incident with multiple fractures, breaking his sternum, femur, a vertebra in his spine, and his ankles. However, he only spent a year and a half recovering before he was fit to race again, although he sensibly decided to retire from IndyCar in 2005, after nearly winning the Indy 500. However, in 2009, Brack would return to racing with Rally and still occasionally competes in events such as the Goodwood Festival of Speed. So, what are my thoughts on this crash? Well, I mean, probably the exact same as yours. I cannot believe how quickly he spun through the air. I've genuinely never seen anything like that and I, <laughs> I wasn't surprised when I found out that most videos on this uh, were age restricted on YouTube. No, I probably shouldn't say that. And yeah, I was not expecting to see something like that when I clicked on the video. So yeah, I'd probably say a bit of luck because there wasn't as much safety back then um, as there is now. I've seen crashes that aren't nearly as bad yet people have come out way, way worse. So I'd say a stroke of luck in that one. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry, this was just a very short video to kind of to kind of bash out because I've got exams at the moment and I've been so busy and I just haven't had a chance to record anything. And it feels like I'm kind of in this hole at the moment where I need to kind of get out of it with content. However, I think I'm relying on F1 2021 for that, like I said in the last video. So stay tuned for that uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. So yeah, thank you very much for watching.